Hello beautiful and amazing people, how are you all doing? I do hope you're all having a safe and wonderful time. Welcome back to my English channel. For those of you who are new subscribers or visitors, a warm welcome to you and to those who accidentally stumbled upon this video, hello and welcome. Before we discuss about our topic for this episode, let's talk first of the benefits of learning a new language. Mind you, there are many, but we'll cover only a few of them. For the purpose of encouraging and motivating us to continue our journey of learning a new language. Okay, now let's talk about the benefits of learning a new language. First, it boasts brain power. And second, it sharpens the mind. Third, improves academic performance. And fourth, increases networking skills. Now, these benefits I just mentioned has nothing to do with what specific language. It covers any languages you want to learn, but with the same benefits. Now this time, let's talk about the few benefits of learning is specifically the English language. Now, I, I said it before, there are many, many, many benefits for learning the English language, but let's try only cover some of them for uh, time constraint purposes, okay? Let's talk only the very basic. Okay, number one benefits if you plan to move to an english speaking country the reason is so obvious definitely it will improve your chances to find employment second improve communication skills we are now living in a globalized world meaning globalization gather us closer together and we know that English is a dominant language. So in the world of social media, we communicate to people around the world, literally. So the better we know and understand English, the better for us and our confidence definitely will improve. Alrighty people, I hope by knowing some of the advantages or benefits of learning the English language, it will encourage us more to continue learning. Okay, without much further ado, let's now dive into our main topic for this episode. Our topic is about the difference between two and four. Both two and four are prepositions. And preposition is one of the eight parts of speech, and both are commonly used. Although they are similar, but two and four differ in their meanings based on the words they are used with. Okay, so here we go. When to use to in a sentence. Here are main uses of the preposition to. One, direction expressing movement toward something example we're going to the restaurant tomorrow next example when you reach the corner look to the left and you'll find the building next usage of the word to in a sentence is receiving meaning showing who or what receives an action or item example he passed the ball to carlene another example i passed the message to mr samuel another usage of the word to is showing an abstract connection between two people so the third is connection for example she is married to her former classmate or mr blair is the assistant to the vice president that's the third usage of the word to or the preposition to next is we use to sh to show a physical attachment between two things so for example the picture was attached to the wall. 
Another example here, I tied my goat to a tree nearby. So the fourth usage of the preposition to is attachment. Okay. Next, we use the word to or the preposition to to introduce the second part of a comparison. For example here, high school is enjoyable compared to college. Another example, I preferred soda to energy drink. Another one, she liked pink color compared to yellow. Another usage of the preposition to is to describe why something happened when the explanation uses a verb. Okay, so this part is reason or reasoning. Okay, so for example, I work so hard to make money. Another example here, the children work so hard to win the contest. Here, another usage for the preposition to is for time, meaning to tell the time. For example, it's 10 minutes to 5, or you would say it's 5 to 11, meaning it's 5 minutes to 11. Those are some of the basic usage of the preposition to. The best strategy to learn how to use the preposition to is by using it in your daily conversation. Now let's move on to the preposition for. When to use for in a sentence. Here are some of the main uses of the preposition for. One is to indicate agreement, allegiance, or favor toward something, meaning for support. For example, I root for your team, meaning I'm supporting your team. Okay. Another example here is if he's not for the English class, then he's against it. Okay. So this is an indication of... Um, favor or not favor toward this time is not for so not negative if he's not for the english class then he's against it okay this is in favor or not favor toward something okay another usage of the preposition for is showing an action on behalf of or representing something else meaning this is for representation Okay, example here, she, she may work for her parents' company or he speaks for his department. Another example here is, I will do it for you. So this is for representation purposes, to represent uh, something or someone. Here, another usage for the preposition for is to introduce the second part of a purchase deal or trade, meaning for exchange. For example, here, I'll give you my bag for your shirt. Or another example, I bought the entire pack of colored papers for only $10. Okay, that's another usage of the preposition for. Now next is to indicate length of time or distance, meaning the length. Okay, for example here, I worked there for three years, then I moved to another company. Another example is I lived here for four years. Now here it indicates the length of time. Another example here is walk straight for a few meters, then turn right. So that is for distance. Now here's another usage of the preposition for is gratitude, meaning showing thanks or gratitude. For example, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your gifts. Or uh, another example here is I am grateful for all my blessings. Another one, I am grateful for my parents. Okay, so this is showing thanks or gratitude. We use the preposition for. 
Another usage of the preposition for is to describe why something happened or when the explanation uses a noun. So this is for reason, okay. Example here, she has to run every day for the marathon. Another example, I became a vet for the love of animals, not for money. So here, if you see, you are talking about reasons, okay. Next, another um, usage of the preposition for is for when you are talking about benefits okay for example vegetables are good for our health another example exercise is good for our physical will well-being okay so these are the different usage of um, the preposition for now, people, since the usage of these two prepositions, two and four, causes a lot of confusions, I hope that this episode will give you a little clarity and help you to improve your English skills. This is my five cents, my dear English family, when it comes to the advantages and benefits of learning the English language. Believe you me, Learning English will prepare you for a brighter future, a future full of endless possibilities. So if you really want to master English, get involved, be proactive, and practice, and practice a lot. As much as possible, it has been said that no matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop, eventually you'll get there. Eventually, you will get the mastery that you really wanted so guys show your support by subscribing to my channel press the like button and share i will greatly appreciate your help thank you once again for your company whatever you do wherever you are be safe god bless us all my fantastic english family enjoy the rest of your day peace out until next time Bye-bye.